this is a diagram given okay the applied 10 volt so what we want to know that in between these two point right okay sorry if i name this point suppose uh, small a small b what will be the potential difference between small a and b find potential difference between a and b so don't you think that don't you think that uh, being the flow of charge from the 10 volt is concerned it will first reach to this junction will it be possible for this 10 volt due to 10 volt uh, battery charge can flow through 2 ohm towards the point a no so that means uh, the whatever the charge drawn that will continue flowing first through c1 it will reach to the point small a then will it be getting divided will that flow of charge will be found to be getting divided between c2 and 4 ohm uh, how can you state uh, can develop that argument uh, where you can say that uh, charge division will take place based on which principle but uh, being it is parallel is it necessary that uh, charge which is flowing through the c1 will it be getting divided for resistance as well as for capacitor in between small a and small b because we know that at steady state whatever the charge drawn from c1 right that will block the flow of charge that will block the flow of charge further right so if there is no further flow of charge means there is no state of current so can that means uh, no current can flow through the 4 ohm resistance no pd can be uh, recorded uh, across 4 ohm resistance 4 ohm resistance will be nothing but other than a simple conducting wire only so if the 4 ohm resistor becomes a simple conducting wire then that means across that 4 ohm no potential drop so that means it is simply suggesting that vab will be zero because no potential drop because no potential drop will be possible no potential drop will be possible across across the resistance across the 4 ohm resistance right yes or no will it be possible to have a potential difference across 4 ohm at steady state what do you think why because to have current flowing through 4 ohm that should be the part of the charge which is first passing through c1 that can only further divide it into parallel branches as we normally think about it but the thing is that at steady state at steady state will c1 will allow the flow of charge through it of course not so rate of flow of charge will be ceased that means that means no current will be allowed to flow through 4 ohm and hence the 4 ohm resistance will just become a simple wire so a simple conducting wire creates no pd means between a and b there will be no potential drop possible so they, that's why the capacitor c2 at steady state it will not store any charge in it so finally it will be c1 and c3 this implies that zero potential drop suggests no charge will be stored no charge will be stored right no charge will be stored in c2 because of zero potential drop because of zero potential drop right no charge will flow will be stored in c2 because of zero potential drop this implies that c1 and c3 will be connected in series c1 and c3 will be connected in series is that clear